Hello guys and welcome back to Project Monaco. We're up to episode 10 now. Yes, we're into double figures and boy are we going to get going today quickly. Last week we worked on bringing this area to life and we have people, we have cars, we even have a helicopter as well. But today I want to concentrate on creating the foundations for Monaco. We want to start building some houses and some sort of main areas actually build up the uh, residential zones of Monaco and the first section is this triangular zone here at the very front of the harbour. Now we could have started absolutely anywhere but it makes sense to carry on from where we have left off and also we'll be able to get some beautiful views throughout the harbour when we start to build up this beautiful skyline. As you can see from these images from Google Maps this area is very very low down it's quite ground level to the rest of the area so it's going to be quite an interesting one to build it's going to be a lot easier than when we move up into the higher tiers but the buildings do create their own sort of atmosphere here which do add to the height levels now i know a lot of people have been asking also for the or when the video for the formula one track is going to come about but um that's going to be something for the future i've got a good few ideas on what we can do with that um but anyway, we haven't actually created the whole of the area for where the, um, the Formula 1 would, Grand Prix would go around. So we'll, we'll come back to that a bit later on. But in the meantime, as you can see from these shots here, this area is very luxurious. It's a very nice area to be building on. And there's going to be a lot of detailing to do here. Um, but this episode is purely about the foundations. And we've got a few little techniques to go through as well, where we're able to create some very nice buildings with the procedure objects. And... Well, a lot of mishmash and sort of puzzle joining up together as well to really get these buildings as close as possible, which obviously is going to be a little bit difficult when we aren't designing the exact buildings, but we've got a good few buildings that we can work with here. But anyway, let's jump straight into the action and we've already put down some of the road markings here, the road layout even for this section. And we're going to combine a lot of different buildings here. You'll see straight away we're using uh, Drainable's modular buildings. And they, when they first released, I thought were a fantastic idea. And this works so well for this section because in Monaco there seems to be this first tier, which is where the sort of shops, um, sort of boutique area sort of lay. And then on top of that you have the big apartments. So this works fantastically here. And you'll see a lot of procedural objects being used as well. The mod is perfect. It's almost like it's built for this series. It just allows us to do so much more. You can see there we were pretty much imitating a different size building because what we've done is we uh, entered the procedural objects mode and just buried the rest of the building to actually lower the height. And that works so well because you can't tell now that that is... A building that's been reduced in size it just looks like it should be like that from the workshop so you can really get a lot out of people's um, assets now by using procedure objects because you can change them you can expand them, you can drag them around you can do whatever you like to them really um, and that's going to be really really beneficial here for Monaco because there are a lot of unique style buildings and a lot of them as well where just you need to get a different height you want to use the same building but it's maybe a little bit too high up um, so you can bury them into the ground and you'll see I'm reusing the technique of putting the uh, overpasses in front of the buildings to create that sort of alleyway and to make the area look a little bit more realistic because a lot of Monaco has these uh, little areas where it's like an underpass um, where you know the buildings overhang in the streets which we can't do with all of these buildings um, but we can do it with some of them. And going back to the build now, we are working on the grassy area on top of these roofs. And this happens quite a lot in Monaco. Um, if you look at the map down of the main areas of Monaco, there's a lot of areas where the roofs are actually filled with flowers. And it's quite common in sort of Mediterranean builds where that is done. And it does give a very different atmosphere and a different view when you're looking around these sort of cities. And it's really fun to do. It looks nice um, and very simple to do. 
as you can see. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to ask all the viewers here today, when it comes to building these sort of areas, and as you can imagine, there's gonna be a lot of this being done in Monaco. Do you want to see every single item placed down? Obviously I've trimmed this down a lot to and reduce the time down and you know cut out all the boring bits of scrolling through and finding the right buildings but in builds like this do you want to see a whole episode of this section being built or would you just want to see little snippets um, maybe some live play on some of the um, areas being built um, and then an overview of what it looks like as a cinematic it's you know it's one of those things where I wonder and I have comments in the past that people were uh, sort of say it's a bit repetitive and obviously these builds can be quite repetitive this episode in particular is quite repetitive because all we're doing is replacing down buildings for the foundation which you know it does come together in the end and look absolutely fantastic but for people watching i don't want to do many episodes exactly the same um we'll once we've done this we're gonna have another episode episode 11 which will be detailing this area we're not going to complete it all um, but from there we're going to move over to a different location i don't want to be building the same stuff week in and week out because you know you'll burn yourself out personally for myself and also for you guys so by all means let me know what works best for you what do you want to see when it comes to building big sort of density buildings obviously there's gonna be some exciting parts in monaco parts that haven't been actually done before um obviously working on the terrain as well that's gonna be a very interesting job to do but these sort of buildings here where we're just placing down how much do you want to see of it let me know in the comments below but as for today's episode, we'll be going through the whole lot because I want to show you how I achieve the look. And a lot of it is very strangely placed buildings. And what I mean by that is, as you can see here, the buildings themselves, we're using the same buildings, but we're just swinging things around, moving bits around to make it look different, overlapping some of the buildings because they're not all the same. They may look the same, but obviously they're not. And a lot of these buildings are quite unique in terms of their shape. This particular section here actually moves and goes into another section. And obviously, some of the buildings are very slim compared to what we've got the uh, what we've got here to play with. So it does does make things a little bit more difficult. Um, but again, that adds to the atmosphere of using this game to create a sort of lifelike city. You've got to use your imagination and what you have to play with. And again, that goes back to the procedural objects. Using that mod really does make this a lot easier to do. And talking of procedural objects, if you check the link on the top right hand corner, you'll see my recent video of that. And it explains a little bit more detail on how to take full advantage of that. And also, if you want to understand how to add textures to your procedural objects, check out Skibius video as well. I'll drop a link in the description for that. Very useful techniques on how to add textures. It's not something I covered in my video, so make sure you check out that one as well. But anyway, back to the build, you can see here what we're doing is we're adding a lot of different textured buildings. And what I love about these buildings is they've all got different color roofs. And that works so well for Monaco because Monaco does have the typical orangey red roofs and also some more yellowy roofs as well. But there is also the standard concrete roofs. So combining them all together really does give a very nice view and atmosphere when you're looking around the area. And especially from bird's eye view, it does really add some character to this area. And that's what I really wanted to achieve. If you have a look at Monaco from a bird's eye view, you can see that it is all these beautiful different colors of orange and yellows and that's what i want to sort of achieve in this area and obviously throughout the whole of the um the series i want to really give that mediterranean feel off the buildings themselves created by many of the uh creators on board from project monaco have done such a good job on both the roofs and also the actual look of these buildings they all look perfect and they suit so so well i'm extremely lucky to have so many people on board um, and it's working great, I really do enjoy it. And now another example of how to take advantage of procedural objects and buildings. What you can see here is I'm actually creating a double tier building. So I like the look of this building, it suits this area extremely well, but it wasn't high enough. So what we've done is we used the procedural objects mod and pretty much just hired it. So we created one as a lower tier, copy and paste it and tops it up with another one to increase the size by two so that's 
another method of really making the most of uh, the buildings on the workshop and you can do that with props as well anything really um, that procedure object picks up so another little little idea to use when you're really trying to change the look of your buildings and uh, it works so well when you're working on a very small number of buildings such as this area here we're only really using four or five buildings but together we can use that and it does make life a lot easier and i know we spoke a lot already in this episode about procedure objects but what i'm also thinking of doing is creating some textured roofs um, which we can plop down on top of buildings using the procedural objects and i think that'll work quite nicely because there are some buildings that look really nice but the roofs are either the wrong color or they don't quite suit what we want to achieve so i think that'd be quite a cool thing to add and it's something that i'll probably look to release on the workshop a bit later on um, once i got to grips with how to do so um, but even just having a standard flat panel um, sort of roof texture i think it work really well in certain environments and uh, it's also another good way that we can create some more um, pavements as well using that sort of method so again that mod has opened up a world of new opportunities for project monaco and obviously everyone else out there as well so if it's not something you own make sure you have gone it subscribe because it will really change the way you play this game now another big challenge we have in monaco is the number of underground tunnels and underground parking that we need to really establish in this game and it's a difficult procedure to do so really because uh, every time you place a tunnel you need to make sure it's got enough space around it otherwise it will kill off all the buildings around it unless it's obviously procedural objects which doesn't come into play there but what we need to do here is really make the most of move it and procedural object to start placing these tunnels down as you can see here we are having to squeeze these tunnels into tiny little gaps and that's going to be a very common occurrence that happens um, in Monaco but I do want to have these tunnels in place because it is all part of the road system and it's going to really bring the traffic through to different zones and areas and also reduce some of the traffic that you see on the road obviously Monaco is a busy location but it's not overcrowded and I think the game itself with the standard AI will probably be a bit overkill for that so I think these tunnels um, I will place down in the exact locations but I'm also thinking of doing a bit of an underground network outside of Monaco obviously not one that's realistic in terms of what there is in real life and I think that would look would work quite nicely to reduce some of the traffic around the main roads but we'll see how we get on with that Now another idea I wanted to try and execute was the ability to have buildings um, with roads going underneath them um, and obviously unless the building already has a road built into it it's not possible to do so what I'm doing here is I'm finding a building 
and I'm basically just taking the bottom half of it and use the procedure objects to raise it up into itself. So technically now we have reduced the size of this area and the plan now is to place it against another building and have a road underneath it such as here. And this is an, again another big occurrence in Monaco where you do have these underground sort of pathways through and I really do like the look of that and procedure objects makes it so much easier to do it's a really nice achievement to, to be able to do you do get a little bit of flickering now and again but as you can see from here what we end up doing is we put some concrete along the bottom there um, and just put it up against it using the move it mod tool but these little extra features are what makes this game look so much more realistic having this here adds a different sort of value to this area um, I probably should have moved it up a little bit but what I've done here I'm happy with and it's uh, again another little thing you can add into your builds um, just going an extra mile when it comes to detailing and representing something you can see in real life now another really awesome mod that's been released is by tpb and it's the ability to change the color of buildings and this came at a perfect time i was actually trying as you saw earlier in the episode to try and copy and paste a number of different buildings down before i got the right colors and now due to this fantastic mod you can pretty much click on any building you place down and drag over to the exact color you want obviously the only downside is if you're using a procedural object you cannot do that to it it's got to be a real living model if that makes sense um, but this does really game change this area and as you can see here now it's come out i'm able to go back and change the color of a few buildings to either make them suit or make them look a little bit different and that really does help with the build realism so guys make sure you check that out on the workshop it's called painter and again by tpb he also released another very nice mod called customize it which allows you to change the ability of um, parts within a building so you can customize the properties basically of each building if you want to change construction costs water consumption anything like that it's all able to be done in game through the customize it um, mod so make it sure you check out both those both have some huge advantages to play in this game and remember guys any building you see in this build should now be on the workshop if not it'll be on very shortly um, and make sure you use them because they are really good and again as i said before let me know how your builds are going if you're building on the monaco map hit me up on my twitter or discord show me some screenshots let me see how you're doing as well because you never know there might be some little tricks that i would like to use from your build as well <laughs> um, but other than that let me know what else you're building if you're not building anything to do in monaco anything at all jump in the discord and we'll have a look and uh, everyone's always welcome to see new people join and have a look what else is being created in the world of city skylines but anyway guys that is bringing us very close now to the end of episode 10 and like i say a little bit of a different episode today it's all about the foundations today and a bit of technique of using the procedure objects and remember to let me know what your thoughts are in terms of future episodes along this same scale do you want to see everything being placed down or do you just want to see an episode of detailing once the foundations are down that's what episode 11 will be all about we'll be detailing this area and making it look as realistic as we can moving on to that episode 12 we're going to be moving away from this area to a very unique build which is one that i don't believe has ever been done in city skyline so make sure you tune in for that in a couple of weeks time and then we'll be moving further along the map to some more exciting builds and one build in particular that i've been waiting to do for some time so other than that guys i will leave you with some of the cinematics of what we have built today as always thank you very much for your time and watching if you enjoyed the video hit that like button it helps the channel grow and also if you want to see more videos and you don't want to miss out think about subscribing other than that guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all again very very soon thanks for watching and all the best <laughs>